Hello, friends, and thanks for tuning in to this video. Obviously, you guys can tell by the title that this one is a little bit different, and it's some sad news. A little while ago, our ancient ex street cat Krusty passed away at an estimated 21 years of age. I think he was pretty well known to you guys who watch our videos, so we wanted to provide you all an update and also do a little tribute to him here. Just a heads up, this video is about to get pretty cheesy and sappy and a little emotional, and yes, we are aware that he was just a little cat, but he was a really good friend to us, so we figured he deserved his own video. All right, so here it is. The story of Krusty the Cat as we knew him, and a brief summary of our time with him. We were just talking about Krusty, and now he's just like, literally just walked from an alley into our lives. And then we hang out with him all day. Now he lives with us. Now, not much is known about Krusty's early life. As some of you guys might know, when we met Krusty, he was already an old man. We can only guess he was related to the colony of stray cats who lived at the truck depot near our old apartment. That used to be a truck depot. Oh, yeah. Right there. Ground zero of crust. Now it seems to be some condo building under construction. In 2015, Tyler and I had just started dating. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> And I was living with a roommate in a neighborhood in LA called Silver Lake. Oh, this is it. This is where we were. In the kind of apartment that's like one fifth of a large house. Now my man, car egged right there one time. <laughs> and we had a backyard slash back driveway area that was actually teeming with wildlife. There were raccoons, possums, other rodents, and a lot of stray cats roaming the streets. And in our backyard specifically, there were three really beautiful and well-fed sister cats. And from what we could tell from our landlord and the neighbors, these cats had been living there for years, helping with pest control, and also basically every tenant in the building would leave food out for them. Then one day in mid-2015, this tiny little scruffy male cat shows up. This is little Krusty. He was super skinny with a big cut on his back and two messed up ears. I think he must have figured out how much cat food was being left out in the backyard and decided to see if he could get in on the action. But we quickly noticed that even though he was hanging around, between the three other cats and all of the other critters, this scruffy little cat kept getting boxed out. So we went to PetSmart and got him his own food bowl and food so we could feed him separately. Okay, now we need food. This of course was the cat that would come to be known as Krusty. He's mad at me for some reason. He's mad at everybody. Why? What did you do to him today? Probably. You're crusty, He's Tyler, crusty. because you love crusty. What did you do to him today? I was nothing. I nothing. He's just throwing me shade. People used to always say how mean it was that we named him Krusty, but it honestly came from us just describing him. His eyes were crusted almost completely shut when we first started hanging out with him, so it was kind of like, oh, which cat is that? Oh, oh, it's the crusty one. Okay, got it. <laughs> Pretty quickly, Krusty started hanging out outside our door more and more, hoping to get fed. And we started to pet him and scratch him, which he freaking loved. He was an itchy guy, I think. He's just snotted on me, buddy. All right, come on, let's go. And because of his small size and the fact that it seemed like he still had his testicles, we thought he was a young cat or kitten. So we decided to try and take him to the vet to see about getting him his shots and like neutered and stuff. And the vet took one look at him, lifted up his lip to look at his teeth and said, a kitten? No, this cat is at least 12. And also, he still has his balls because he was neutered so recently by the trap neuter release program that they had to actually give him a vasectomy instead of a full removal. So that's when we realized that Krusty was a little con artist, an aged runt, if you will. In fact, on subsequent visits to the vet, they estimated he was between 12 and 15 years old, and they kept calling him a geriatric patient, which was adorable, but a big surprise to us. In late 2015, early 2016, my roommate moved out and Tyler moved in. And this was when Krusty, who had been hanging around our door for months, really kind of imprinted. We're starting Valentine's Day off feeding the kitties. Oh, well, only Krusty's out here. This little Krusty's butt. Tyler used to come home for lunch almost every single day, make lunch for himself, and then whistle for Krusty to come get his food. And Krusty would show up every time. I'm gonna go back to work. You good out here? And he eventually permanently settled on a towel we would leave right outside our door. All right, this is Sir Crustalot. We were kind of becoming a little team. 
when we would take our dirty clothes to the laundry room at like 2 a.m., Krusty would trot after us and wait outside, keeping the late night watch. Good night, everyone. I gotta go catch up with Sophia. We're doing our laundry. This was an era of our lives where we were being pretty scrappy. Come here, Krusty. Little old demon cat. Trying to figure out what we were gonna do with our lives, trying a lot of different things. And I think it gave me at least some sense of stability to see Krusty waiting there for us every day. Where is he? I would also say some of our bigger purchases in this era were for Krusty. He had cat herpes and bad teeth, so we had to get him antibiotics a couple of times and spent a lot of money to pull some of his rotten teeth. But it was definitely worth it. I'm his cat daddy. I'm taking care of him. So in late 2016, when we decided to move into a new apartment in Hollywood, we couldn't just leave the guy. Here he comes. See, he's happy. The other cats sort of belonged to the whole apartment complex, but Krusty had become our cat. Some people in our comments have said before that we randomly kidnapped someone else's cat when we took Krusty with us, but even if Krusty had a family earlier in his life, and it's possible that he did, by the time we knew him, he was a stray. And he spent all day every day outside of our front door, eating, sleeping, occasionally facing off with possums. Hey, sleepyhead. So we told our neighbors, who were stoked that we were gonna adopt him officially, essentially put him under our arm and headed off. <laughs> we were on the up and up, and Krusty was coming with. And so this is where Krusty turned from street cat into pampered indoor cat, sleeping pretty much every night in Tyler's armpit. It's the truck depot to my armpit pipeline. I can't move, I don't Yeah, you gotta stay there now, forever. And after learning about what a litter box was, plotting to poop on something that's not his litter box. There's his litter box right there. So we gotta record something faster, actually. He's yeah, okay, wait, watch him, watch him. Okay. Wait, hold on. We're gonna keep going. Tyler, grab him. He seemed to really enjoy being an inside cat. I think he finally felt really safe because he would sleep so deeply, like deeper than I had ever seen anyone sleep before. We always joke he's making up for 15 years of sleep dead, yeah. of living on the streets. He was also introduced to the wonders of Meowiwana. Cross, you're gonna get high as oh balls. God, oh my God. Look at him, he's freaking out. <laughs> Which, you know, I think he liked. He's just eating it, it's like, ow! <laughs> All right, easy, easy, easy. Okay, this is a bad idea. I'm putting the meow wanna away. Around Here and Now is when we launched this YouTube channel and kind of set out on our own. This was an exciting time, but also a very nerve-wracking time. And right from the start, Krusty was a big part of our channel. Every time you don't click subscribe, Krusty wheezes. He was one of our primary sources of feedback on our ugly clothing items. Okay, you guys, Krusty hates these pants. Oh, they're so loud. And if we didn't know what else to say sometimes in that early period, we'd just be like, okay, film the cat, film the cat. That was my entire channel. Before we head out, here is the obligatory Krusty shot. I am fully aware that Krusty is the real star of this vlog. And actually the video where we tried to walk Krusty was the video that pushed us over 1 million subscribers. I don't think he liked it though. He made a beeline for a pipe at the Americana. He's not going down that pipe. Oh, yeah, let's take about it. <laughs> he almost left us for the Cheesecake Factory forever, yeah. Rizzy. <laughs> In mid to late 2017, we pretty quickly outgrew that Hollywood apartment with just props and packages and equipment and stuff. So we moved out with Krusty to the place that I think that most of you guys will recognize. This mostly concrete, glass, and metal townhouse in Atwater Village, where we set up a work-live office for our channel. I brought you Krusty to hang out Oh, with, no, he's gonna eat my mascara off. Now this was the peak Krusty era. Like 2017 to 2019, he had this townhouse with all of these ledges to perch on. Crust, we're leaving. All right, bye. He would bask in the sun. We got these giant bean bags from Costco that were supposed to be for everyone, but ended up being co-opted just for him, that he would just lounge on all day long as if he were a Roman emperor getting waited on hand and foot. Crusty. It was a really fun era because Tyler and I were running around like chickens with our heads cut off, filming, editing, having no idea what we were doing. Be careful, you don't have any shin guards. And Krusty was always just there with us. Sleeping, hanging out, demanding snacks. Literally look at what Krusty's doing right now. You're gonna pull your tooth out. Playing with fidget spinners. Yes, he was a 2017 icon. All we have to do is teach you how to dab Krusty. Just constantly by our sides while we pulled all-nighters and stressed ourselves out. <laughs> 
<laughs> he wanted the Greek yogurt. I even ended up with a tattoo that you guys helped choose that illustrated this crusty supervises nutcases Sophia and Tyler dynamic. He also helped Tyler pick out my engagement ring. Well, I think he might have sniffed it at least. It's pretty good, right? Would you say yes, Crust? Ah, oh, come on, you'd say yes. After our wedding at the end of 2019, we moved out of our townhouse into a house in the valley. This is the one that everyone thought looked like Jenna Marble's house, which, let's be honest, it did. And though we felt poised to keep trucking along in 2020, the pandemic and quarantine kind of hit us like a ton of bricks, both in terms of logistically figuring out how to keep our workflow going, but also emotionally and like mental health-wise, I sort of stumbled and fell flat on my face, and I wasn't exactly sure how to keep going. Going. More on that in a second. But Krusty was there, like always, by our side. It's Crust. What's up, buddy? Just like that one constant in a sea of uncertainty. Look at the way he's just like staring. <laughs> he's just looming like a gargoyle. Always hungry, always there. He keeps drooling on my hand right now. <laughs> Stop it. I'm just trying to eat here, Krusty. He's so crazy. He's, look how far up on my chest he is. He's conquered me. I feel like a defeated man. One thing I will say though, is that at some point in 2020, we did notice him starting to seem a little older than he did before. Look at your bald spot, Krusty. He was getting skinnier and he stopped grooming himself. So his coat started looking a bit disheveled. Still our ever loving dude, but I think we started noticing his age catching up to him a little bit. I don't want to go too far into it here since this is his memorial video and I don't want to expose him, but his bowels were also becoming a bit less reliable. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Now, at the end of 2020, after a year where we basically couldn't get anything going, we decided we needed to leave LA and get a fresh start. How did we even get this much stuff? Pack up shop and start over, basically. Damn, that is saran wrapped. We'll see how much survives the trip. <laughs> and partially because Krusty was not a big fan of his carrier, in fact, when put in his carrier for extended periods of time, he would usually poop in it. We decided that the best call would be to do a road trip and drive the cat across the country. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Okay. Let's hit the road, Jack. Our cross-country road trip was pretty hard at times, but it was also really fun being just the three of us in the van. Oh, <laughs> Krusty's just sitting right there. Krusty is gonna go crazy for this turkey, man. Like our little crew making the move. Yeah, help you. See, this is Krusty. He's such an incorrigible dumpster cat that he thinks he can just literally go and take my sandwich. Dude, 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 that's not cool, man. I was kind of worried about the cat going in, but he seemed to really love it. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> He's digging it. He meowed once when we put him in the car. Crusty, you're a mountain lion. And then he settled in for basically like the rest of the trip. One ancient cat, two idiots, 10 states, and 3,000 miles. Crusty's eating his food. You can see his butt though. Crusty, show your butt to the camera. Oh, you're already doing it, perfect. Sweet, that was easy. Once we got to North Carolina, he settled in really well back into his role as late night backseat editor, once again by our side as we tried to piece back together our channel and frankly our lives. But over the course of 2020 and 2021, it was clear that he was just getting a little older. He was getting skinnier and skinnier and had a few bowel flare ups that got us concerned. Hi, all handsome. We have taken him to tons of vets and emergency vets over the past years, especially given his age and there was never anything concretely wrong with him. He's such a little varmint. Though the advice had gone from, his blood is fantastic, he just has gas in 2018. Actual diagnosis from an emergency vet. To, well, he's just really, really old by 2021. Oh, he's digging it. I'm trying to knead the arthritis out of him. <laughs> Arthritis man. But he was always just so alert and with it and had such a desire to eat and stick around. What a little shark. Here you go, shark man. That I think he was just willing himself to keep going. Not Krusty sitting in a chair thinking he's eating dinner with us. Then in November, we had a pretty serious scare where we had to take him to the emergency vet for a few days and we were kind of worried that his time was up. In fact, the vet actually suggested that we put him down, but it had all happened so suddenly that we wanted to take him home with us for just one last night. And so we picked him up and he spent the rest of the night in Tyler's armpit like old times. Hey little guy. It's the gruesome threesome. And then for like a last meal, I gave him some turkey cold cuts, which were his favorite. And he like 
almost immediately perked up and started pursuing the meat like a madman. You see the paw up. As lively as a 21-year-old cat could be. <laughs> he wants it. You kind of look like the day we found it, buddy. <laughs> this turned into this kind of like interesting last hurrah period with Krusty, where he went from supposedly only having like six hours left to having an extra six weeks where even though he looked a little crazy, he was super alert and hanging out with us, purring, meowing, and running after Tyler when it was time to get fed. It was around now when I made some jokes about how super ancient he was and how was he even still alive? Like, what, what's happening with you right now? Which some of you guys were critical of, though we've always kind of made jokes like that. Ah, oh, you're still alive, okay, good. I get where you guys are coming from. I guess it was just my way of coping since I knew in all likelihood that we didn't have a lot of time left with him. At this point, we were just taking it day by day because he was clearly near the end, but he always just had that super strong will to keep going and living and eating. I think that must have been the little street cat inside of him. The night before he passed away was pretty much the same as any other. He chased Tyler around, scotch plated his wet food, I gave him a little massage, he was mostly bones at that point, but he was purring, and then he fell asleep like normal. And then in the morning, he was gone. Like I said earlier, that was a couple of months ago at this point. I I'm sorry for not letting you guys know earlier, but we weren't really ready to talk about it. We were prepared, we knew it was coming. I mean, I think everyone did, but we're still pretty sad. We also commissioned an art piece for Krusty from Shelby and Sandy, and I thought it would be cool to show you guys the finished piece in this video. Uh -oh. oh, I got goosebumps, like really badly. Sorry, I, we're, I'm a little weird about this cat. I love him so much. Yeah. That's like the <laughs> Take a minute and enjoy. Yeah. And Sorry, you... I like came to this really cool art so you're not like crying. <laughs> this is You love this cat. Yeah. Uh, well you get to have this forever. No, that's just so yeah. sick. You guys did such a good job. This is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we look wanted... tiny, look at his ears. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to make sure we got the ears really nice and chewed up. And, and then you guys this, uh, what he's sitting on. Yeah, the uh the bean bag. bag that he stole from you guys. He wrecked that thing. <laughs> he ruined that thing. So I guess I want to say all this. Krusty was a really patient, sweet guy who loved people, not necessarily other animals or cats, but loved people. And Krusty decided to join us. Look, he's about to start licking his butt. Oh. He was incredibly food motivated. Oh, it was a psych. I just go for the sandwich. Oh my God, Krusty, back off this panini. He was rough around the edges, but he was a loyal little dude who never showed any desire to leave our side from the day we met him. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really simple. I love this cat. I gotta love my little crust man. I don't need anything else. I got one little pee right here. He had an epic snarl, almost no teeth, and was quick to swat, but he meant it in a loving way. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. He's like a gray white shark. He was our unfailing friend and companion for six years, and he lived a long, adventurous life. By the way, he's right there, full time, just roosting. He looks like a lump of coal on the bed. I know the last thing anyone wants to hear about is a YouTuber complaining about their job, and I am very thankful for all of you guys who watch our content so I can have this job, but there are some tough aspects. It can be kind of lonely, it's oftentimes hard to come up for air and have perspective, and there's that gnawing fear that it could all just go away at any second. I don't know if Krusty knew what we were feeling over the past few years, but his little presence made me feel not so alone. Like I had a friend with me, next to me, who was happy to be there. I don't know what to do with it. What? <laughs> Over the past couple of years, I've really struggled with my confidence and my sense of self-worth, and I've been trying to grapple with that while kind of trying to re-remember how to make videos and get back to posting and putting myself back out there. And I do kind of feel like he was trying to hold on as long as he could, both because he liked hanging out with us, but also because maybe he knew that we needed him. What's up, babe? We only got to have a few years with him, and I wish we could have had more, but we knew when we adopted him that he was already old, and we just wanted him to have the best golden years he possibly could. When he passed away, I asked Tyler, I said, do you think we can do this without him? I know that sounds silly because he was just a cat, but he was there from the beginning, and he's in pretty much every memory I have of my time on the internet. I scratch your head, buddy. I promise you a head scratch. And I wanted to thank all of you guys who have loved on him from the beginning because he was a really good cat and he deserved it. His tongue is very wrong. Uh. <laughs>
Thanks again to Shelby and Sandy for this really sick art piece that we're gonna cherish forever. We have a new office that we're working on and that's exactly where this bad boy is gonna go. So he can once again chill in his giant bean bag while we run around like chickens with our heads cut off, watching over us with mild contempt, but lots of love and the hope that some kebab might be headed his way. What's up, crust? <laughs> you just wanna get pet, huh?